I'll be your boyfriend. <laughs> Laundry, huh? Is that my new nickname? <laughs> Here at Men Delight, we get a lot of requests for what does a healthy relationship look like because there's so many examples of unhealthy, toxic ones. <clears throat> Ross and Rachel. We were on a break! <laughs> but Chandler and Monica, none of us saw that coming. And what a wonderful relationship. Let's take a look at the history and what it takes to build a healthy relationship. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. When we're 40, if neither of us are married, what do you say you and I get together and have one? Why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I, I just meant hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> You've got to get over this, okay? You A lot of people make that pact. Of course I am. I reject anyone who's crazy enough to actually go out with me, and then I bitch about the fact that there aren't any great women out there. Never gonna find a boyfriend again. So we see, hence the title, friends. What I like about this is it starts as an actual friendship for a long time. Spinster cook. <laughs> they have time to get to know each other without the pressure of sex, without the pressure of romance. I'll be your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> you made a joke, right? <laughs> so I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> a little too hard. <laughs> right? Never gonna get married. You know what that is? Who wouldn't want you? Well, I've, I've never done that with you before. <laughs> nope. A little too much champagne. So, uh, so the sex wasn't a deliberate choice over time, the romantic involvement, it was something they just kind of oh, fell yes, into. Yes. Uh -huh. Which sometimes happens. You? But generally... We did you. <laughs> generally you want it to be uh, yeah. more deliberate. We're taking these steps, we're moving I forward. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Love how he's like holding it like a little... Could you not look? I don't want to look. <laughs> What we did last night was... Stupid. <laughs> I mean, totally crazy stupid. <laughs> what were we thinking? <laughs> I'm coming over tonight, though, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, we certainly are alone. Yes, good thing we had that not New York rule. <laughs> right. So that the attraction here is based on knowing each other for years and actually caring about what the other person wants, what their dreams are. I was going through a really hard time. Who they are. It's very real. My brother getting married and that guy thinking I was Ross's mother. Right. <laughs> well, anyway, I just, that night meant a lot to me and I guess I'm trying to say thanks. Oh. You know, that night meant a lot to me too. And it wasn't because I was in a bad place or anything. It just meant a lot to me because you're really hot. It's a great humor, but he's obviously, it means more. I, I love that the, the vulnerability here. And I'm cute too. <laughs> and you're cute too. Thank you. All right, I gotta go unpack. Okay. <laughs> Trying to go back to friends. It's hard to make that, that transition right. back. Sex does change things. I'm still on London time. Does that count? <laughs> oh, that counts. Oh, good. <laughs> Aww. Nah, uh, you're just all liquored up. <laughs> hey, it's me. Come in. <laughs> I've had a very long, hard day. <laughs> you were so cute. <laughs> no, no, it was a fight. You deal with it and you move on. Nothing to freak out about. Really? Okay, great. <laughs>
This video is sponsored by Fabulous, the number one self-care app to help you build better habits and achieve your goals. The Fabulous app is a digital coach, a happiness trainer that uses insights from behavioral science to develop great habits that will enable you to live the life you want. With a community of over 30 million users around the world, Fabulous makes it easy for anyone to develop and stick to healthy habits thanks to science-backed daily routines with small steps each day that will lead to big and long-lasting changes. So with Fabulous Premium, you can build and improve an unlimited number of habits in your routines and take part in all of the app's programs, exercises, and goals. You can pick from two approaches. Habit tracking allows you to pick among more than 100 recommended habits or create your own. Dedicated programs are behavior change programs designed specifically to help you achieve your well-being and goals. You choose a journey that immerses you in your own personal adventure over several weeks. Personally, I struggle with maintaining a healthy diet, and I have a hard time staying consistent with exercise routines. I also have a hard time falling asleep and feeling rested. Fabulous Premium helps me to have a coach in my pocket, encouraging me, reminding me, and helping me to change my routine. My Fabulous Premium account gives me access to unlimited habits, routines, exercises, and programs. It's the best self-improvement tool that I have ever found, guiding me to the best version of myself one day at a time. So start building your ideal daily routine. The first 100 people who click on the link below will get 25% off a fabulous subscription. Click right now, do it. Your life's gonna be fabulous. First of all, I just wanna say really fast, even though becoming sexually and romantically involved was kind of something they slid into, there's something that I hear that I really like. It's decide, don't slide. Right, that we often just kind of like slide into relationships. We say it just kind of happened. This is what happens when alcohol and hormones are, are involved, right? We just, it just kind of happens and then we see what goes from there. The only unhealthy thing, and I, wouldn't even, I don't even know that I want to say unhealthy in this case, but the only thing that they could have done better is to make it an actual decision instead of something that they just kind of fell into. To be like, hey, uh, we've known each other for a long time and I'm developing feelings for you that are more than friendship. Are you interested in exploring that? You know, yes or no. And that's a scary thing to do and say, because what about the rejection? But if they say no, it's like, okay, I just need a few days to transition, you know, maybe a couple days or a week or so away from each other to transition, you know, in my head to we're just friends and I'll keep it there and that's fine. They could have had that conversation, especially because of all the couples you ever see on Friends, Chandler and Monica, show the greatest propensity for just having healthy, straightforward conversations. Like right here, they're talking about that they had a fight or an argument and that that's okay. Like you work through it, it's not the end of the world. And they're just very direct and sweet and vulnerable and accountable with each other. There's not all the toxic Ross and Rachel drama. Like, I love it. I really do, I love this couple. Welcome to an adult relationship. Exactly. <laughs> We're in a relationship? I'm afraid so. <laughs> you? And, and you? Yes, but you cannot tell anyone. No one knows. How? When? It happened in London. In London? No, you don't <laughs> I can't wait to be with you. I'll sneak over as soon as Ross picks up Ben. I'll just tell Rachel I'm going to be doing laundry for a couple hours. Laundry, huh? Is that my new nickname? <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's Monica and Chandler, hey! Hey, you guys! Hey! Oh! 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 Chandler and Monica! Chandler and Monica! Oh my god! Oh! Chandler and Monica! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> so, so, they're <laughs> so Chandler and Monica are, are trying to keep it a secret because they don't want their friends to freak out. They want it to just be their own thing. And so Phoebe is trying to seduce Chandler, not really, but just to get him to like come out and say, okay, fine, I'm with Monica or I can't, I can't kiss you because of Monica. And uh, this happens. <laughs> You, you win. I can't have sex with you. 
And why not? Because I'm in love with Monica. You're, you're what? Love her. That's right. I love her. I love her. I love you, Monica. Aw. I love you too, Chandler. <laughs> this is great. It really is. I just, I thought you guys were doing it. I didn't know you were in love. <laughs> Order of operations. It's different for different people. <laughs> nice gender reversal. Chandler. And all my life. I never thought I would be so lucky. <laughs> it's true. This is great Fall acting. Fall in love with my best. <laughs> my best. <laughs> There's a reason why girls don't do this. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I thought. <laughs> Wait, no, I, I can do this. <laughs> I thought that it mattered what I said or where I said it. But then I realized the only thing that matters is that you, you make me happier than I ever thought I could be. And if you let me, I will spend the rest of my life trying to make you feel the same way. <laughs> so she talks about being with her best friend. The best relationships are friends with benefits. Just not in the way people usually say that. Your spouse, your life partner. It's not just sexual, it's not just romantic. You're spending life with your best friend. One of my favorite things Alicia's ever said to me is, you're my person, you know? And I am, and she's mine. For so long, I, I wondered if I would ever find my prince, my soulmate. Pay attention, Ross and Rachel, this and is how it's done. Three years ago, at another wedding, I turned to a friend for comfort. And instead, I found everything that I'd ever been looking for my whole life. And now, here we are, with our future before us. And I only want to spend it with you. My prince, my soulmate, my friend. Healthy relationships are built on a foundation of trust, Unless reliance. Unless you don't want to. And truly knowing the person. You go. And that takes time. You have to see who they really are in a variety of situations, in a variety of different relationships and friendships, and see if who you think they are matches who they actually are, and if that's what you want. It's going to be the most difficult thing I ever had to do. But when I saw you walking down that aisle, I realized how simple it was. I love you. Any surprises that come our way, it's okay, because I will always love you. You are the person I was meant to spend the rest of my life with. You want to go into marriage with both eyes open. When you're dating, don't look away from red flags. Don't ignore things because you really want it to work out. Know exactly who you're dealing with. All the flaws, all the weaknesses, all the struggles. And do you still choose that person? And then once you're married, keep your eyes half closed, right? Focus on the positive. Focus on the things that you love. There's going to be annoyances. There's going to be things that you wish you could change that you can't. There may be things that are deal breakers that you do have to work through. I mean, that's why we have couples counselors. That's, that's what we're here for. But healthy, happy relationships like Monica and Chandler are built on friendship. They're not built on just the attraction. They're not built on just the romance. And that's why it's sometimes hard when you meet somebody and there's a physical attraction and then you have romantic involvement is because that feels like love. But the real question is, through the years, is this person going to be your best friend? Are they going to be your support? That's what gives relationships legs. That's how they go the distance. So if you wanna see the flip side of this, I mean, don't get me wrong, Ross and Rachel, there's a lot of it that I enjoy for entertainment value and they do arrive at a very beautiful place. But oh my gosh, the drama. 
So let's talk about the less healthy relationship on Friends. Ross and Rachel, that video is right here. What do you think about the relationships on Friends? How would you rank them? Let me know in the comments below. What classic sitcom would you like me to react to or therapize? As always, keep shining. We need your light. And we'll be there for you. There's the next video right there. Friends time. You're in the Mended Light friend zone. Just came up with that right now. That's why it was crap.